Chapman, uh, we await the start of the women's mile. World record held by Svetlana Masterkova of Russia, set in 1996 of 41256, the Goodwill. This is the first time that the women's mile will be contested in the Goodwill Games. There is the world record holder, Svetlana Masterkova. 1996, what a story she was in Atlanta. Kind of came out of nowhere and won the 800 and the 1500. Strong finishes in both. And she was handsomely rewarded. Russian government, Athletic Federation giving her a car, 250,000 bucks, an apartment, some land. Also in the field here is Susie Hamilton, her personal best, 426.01. And in New Orleans, she won her third U.S. title and her first since 1991. There's no question she's running better than ever. Just a couple of weeks ago in Oslo, she was set to run a personal best and then stepped on Master Kova's heels, went down. She probably would have had a personal best. A lot of anticipation here because there's somewhat of a showdown to see who is the top American miler. And one of her main rivals is Regina Jacobs. In the 1997 Worlds in Athens, we were there when this happened. There was a, that was full contact 1,500 meters we were watching there. Sonia O'Sullivan, you see in the blue, there's Regina. She will get pulled from behind by Sonia O'Sullivan right there in the middle of the pack. You see her with her hand on her, kind of gives her a yank back. Regina was still able to get the silver, but says if O'Sullivan hadn't grabbed her, she would have taken the gold medal in the world championship in Athens. She was not happy that night. No, she wasn't. And after that, she was on the receiving end of some very fierce words from Regina Jacobs. And uh, Jacobs, who recently set the 5,000 meter world record along with O'Sullivan, they know they have got to take this pace out fast. They know they've got Master Cobra there who's got a quick sprint. They know they've got um, Susie Hamilton there also. Jacqueline Moranga from Kenya, who have run very quickly this year. The only way they have to win is to take it out fast. You talked about Susie Hamilton running maybe the best of her career. At the Prefontaine, she pulled away from Regina Jacobs. It was a much slower time than they're going to run tonight, and it was early in the season. Since that time, Regina has broken the American record at 5,000 meters, which to me is a little bit of a problem because that's three Stand up. miles. Stand up. And she's not going to be as used to this fast pace as the other women who have been off competing in Europe running 1500s. But when Regina was out here the other day, she ran one lap in 56 seconds. So she knows she's got to get her leg speed back up to par. She's going to want to move early for two reasons. To try and win the race because she doesn't have the greatest kick in the last 100 meters. But she also wants to run a fast time. They'll run four laps in the women's mile. First time it's ever been contested in the Goodwill Games. And there's Regina Jacobs immediately out to the front. She I is taking it out very quickly. And that's what she knows she has to do. She may Regina not Jacobs. have the speed that the other women have, but she does have the endurance. That says a lot. She's got that American record at 5,000 meters. Unfortunately, she's not getting any help from Sonia O'Sullivan, who's back in about six. She, Sonia O'Sullivan was the last one off the line. She's out there, 343. She moved halfway through the pack. Then she slowed up because she realized she was running some extra yards. She really would like to, we all would like to see Sonia O'Sullivan get up there and help make this a fast race. Kathy Butler of Canada is second right now. The world record holder, Svetlana Masterkova of Russia, is third as we near the end of the first lap in the women's mile. You know you have to look back too for Regina. Maybe she's kind of smart. Remember in 96 Olympic Games, she had her pants almost pulled off of her. The world championships last year, she almost had her shirt pulled off. Maybe she feels, you know, if I'm out front, nobody can get any contact with my clothes and maybe I can win this race. You know, it's a beautiful still night and I think Regina's gotten a little overexcited. She she ran about 63 seconds for the first 400 meter. That's that's world record pace, and she's out there all all, all by herself. Uh, you know, it's a gutsy thing to do, but this field is just too good to try and run the Olympic champion, actually a double Olympic champion in the 800 and 1500 meters. You're not going to run her off her feet early in the race. Also, not only is she the double Olympic champion, she's run fantastically this year. She's already back in top form. She's run 401. Now, remember last year she was slowed by an injury, but she has run 401.37 to win the 1500 meters in Oslo earlier this month. Regina Jacobs with a large lead at this point. Master Coma is second. Sonia O'Sullivan is right there also. You know, Ernie, you don't know what to expect from Regina. Again, she ran an excellent 5,000. 
season this year. She might feel that she is strong enough at this point to take this lead out. She still looks like she's running very comfortably. A lot of times when you see Regina, her head moving around and things like that, that's when you can tell that she is tired. Susie Hamilton pushed her way through a little crowd and now is into second place trying to track down her teammate, Regina Jacobs. It was impressive how easily Susie was able to accelerate. That's what she does well. She has that burst of acceleration. The Master Cova is going to go right with Susie Hamilton. Then you have in fourth, Maranga. So the top four runners on paper are the top four in the race right now. And that gap is shrinking at the beginning of the pack right here. You see Regina Jacobs still leading. Susie Hamilton is second, Master Kova is third, and they're gaining on her. Jacobs is struggling right now. You can see how she's looking down. Her running technique is not as smooth. Her gait is a little bit choppy right now. Master Kova right behind her. Take a look at her face right there. She is tracking Regina Jacobs. Susie Hamilton on the inside of the United States is in the race. Jacobs is struggling right now. That's Moranga in the back of Kenya. There's the bell, the final lap in the women's mile. Master Kova, the world record holder, has taken over the lead. Susie Hamilton is second. Regina Jacobs now fading to third. Well, Regina Jacobs is uh, feeling good enough to move out into position and make another move. She needs to go with 300 yards to go. And even though she's tired and has been leading, she, she knows what she has to do on paper, and she's going to do it. She might come up short, but she's got the guts to do it. Susie Hamilton in third there needs to swing out now and guard her position, or you're going to have another tripping incident when Moranga comes up on her shoulder. Moranga fading just a bit. There is a three-woman race right now. Regina Jacobs is running on all guts right now. Sometimes when you get a little bit behind, you can go to the reserve tank and you can say, you know what? I've got to do it right here. Master Kova has the lead. Under 100 meters to go. Master Kova and Regina Jacobs. Does she have anything left? Susie Hamilton is faded. It's Master Kova and Regina Jacobs and Master Kova, the world record holder, wins it in a time of 420.40. Well, you know what? Regina Jacobs got second, but you know what? She ran one of the gutsiest races I have seen in a long time. Marty, you've seen it's a lot more miles than I have. You'd have to go back to <laughs> Philbert Bailly of Tanzania or even Kip Kano, who really went out and did something like that. You haven't seen a woman runner do that. Sure, a lot of people go out for two laps and then die, but when they caught her, she had another gear that she was hiding. What a gutsy race by Regina. <laughs> I don't think she knew she had that other gear until she saw Master Kova come on up here. She said, you know what? I still got a little bit left. You know what? Let me try to do what I can do right here. Master Kova, a couple of quick glances over the right shoulder and then put the pedal to the metal and headed for home to win the women's mile. You know, I said it earlier in uh, some of the other races, when you've got the reputation, when you've been running well, as Master Kova has been, you can let the race unfold, you can make the last movement, and she was able to. It was Regina Jacobs that made this a great race, but it was Susie Hamilton who pulled uh, Master Kova up to within striking distance, and Master Kova just let it all happen. I think Regina lost what will be a great race but she knows she really shook up the running world. She's down there with Craig Sager. Oh, Regina came in second, but a fabulous, fantastic race. Talk about your strategy from the start. Well, I only have one thing left in my career, and that's fast running. And my goal this year is to go under four. And so basically, I'm just running as hard as I can every race to accomplish that goal. To go under four minutes in the mile? I'm sorry, 1,500. Okay. So it starts here. Well, you set an American record in the 5,000. You came out here, you had the lead, you had the big extended lead after two laps. What happened after that? Well, I had a couple laps in there that were a little off pace, so that let people back into the race. And Master Cove has already run 358 for 1,500 meters, so she's got great speed. I'm just getting up to speed because I just came off the 5,000 which is more of a strength endurance race. Well, gutsy performance. Thanks. Congratulations on second Thank place. Let's go back to Ernie. Thank you, Sakes. 420.93, a personal best. Only Mary Slaney has run faster. And there's your gold medalist, Svetlana Masterkova. A little sigh of relief and a kiss to the crowd as she wins it. Let's go back to the boat. Jim Lampley, great stuff out here, bud.